Serious what is the most cruel thing a family member has said to you? Who? I had multiple surgeries as an infant which resulted in a lot of scars. Growing up my mother told me no one will ever want me or love me because my body is ugly. Thank you to everyone for the kind comments and the awards. Your mother doesn't know how love works. Not even love. Just basic social interaction. Politeness or common decency. This is like going above and beyond to be an insufferable rude bitch. My dad told me he didn't need me anymore when I was 14 b or now he had a son. My half brother. I was the person who paid for his cremation last January. He was 97. Tip the cremains down the garbage disposal you paid. Now scatter em somewhere he hated. I'm a pale woman with dark body hair. My mother saw that I hadn't shaved my legs in a while and said you need to shave that hair off. What happens if you're aped walking out at night and that's what the guy sees? Or if you get attacked and they rush you to emergency and the doctors have to see that hair? Apostrophe. When I was around 9 or 10 years old, I had gotten up the courage to tell my grandma that I was molested when I was 8. She said that I was just making it up for attention and to be quiet, I cried for the rest of the car ride home, and to this day, 22 years old, I still sometimes cry about it if I think about it for too long. Don't be quiet, scream. I'm an assault victim too. I'm so sorry, I believe you. If you need someone to talk to about it, my DMs are always open. Thank you. I had to live with her for most of my life, but just recently was able to move to the other side of the country with my mom instead. It feels great to live with somebody who actually knows what happened, and that mental illness is real. So, as a child, 13, I was diagnosed with kidney cancer. The news obviously hit me pretty hard, because as a kid, that had lost family to cancer, so I knew how serious it was. Obviously it hit me pretty hard and threw me into horrid depression. The mother of my stepfather laughed at me when the news got to her because you're too young to have problems so just get over it. It's literally cancer. WTF. I wonder what they thought was going to happen to op. That they couldn't have anything serious because they were a child? Question mark. Being a child makes you receptive to lots of things that adults can fight against as well. I think the most hurtful thing is when my mother has told me that she hates me and that she shoulder aborted me. I've had similar things said to me. It hurts like hell man. I'm sorry to hear that. It does hurt like hell. Toxic childhood. My mother had no parenting skills. When I was 15 she assaulted me pretty terribly for asking if she would buy groceries because I hadn't eaten in a few days. I moved out the next day and couch surfed for a long time. After putting myself through university and getting an advanced honors degree, she called me to tell me that I'm stuck up and think I'm better than my family. Edit, thank you for your kind words. I'm doing well. Have a lovely wife who loves me. A good job even through the pandemic. And I haven't spoken to my family in a long time. Which is for the best. Still struggling through that for sure. Guilt, anger, etc. Closed bracket comma but doing all right with it. Perhaps you are better than your family. My mom said she was going to kill herself and it would be my fault. About an hour later her boyfriend called and said mom had taken some pills and was passed out and he couldn't wake her up. Another time she called me a slut and the last thing she ever said to me was that I was no longer her daughter. She died 10 days later. Edit. Thanks everyone for your comments and the awards. I don't comment much on reddit, more of a lurker, so I have no idea what the awards do, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Oh, honey, please don't blame yourself, clearly she was battling her own demons. She took her anger out on you, none of it, listen to me, none of it is your fault. You're not a terrible daughter, you're not a terrible person. You are unique and you are amazing, and I'm happy that you are alive, yeah I've got this. I'm proud of you for being here to this day. Thank you for your kind words. I was 22 when she died. And I'm 35 now. I've moved on for the most part. Been in therapy for 5 years. And I'm really happy with my life and what I have made of myself. It's a loss that she missed out on that. My mom wouldn't ever let me go to parties with her and my dad when I was a kid. 
She brings my sister and little brother though, because they have light skin. We are from Asia. One day I dressed up and got ready because everyone else did. And then she asked me why. Are you getting ready? And I asked why. Aren't we going to a party? She stared at me and told me no. You're too ugly in our language. I'm 21 now and our relationship has never been the same since. I aged well though thankfully but it still stings whenever I remember it. This just gets me mad for you. This is just a very cruel thing to say to a child. I'm sorry you had to go through this. Thank you kind stranger. I really appreciate that V. V I also remember our most recent fight and I was mad that my sister who graduated uni for more than 5 years now still gets allowance while I still in school with full units with a full scholarship am working for my own bills and allowance none of my siblings had to work while they're studying now she even gets my savings and gets mad at me whenever I ask for it back I know my life's sucky right now but after I'm done with school I'm planning on going no contact with everyone and will build my own life and hopefully find people who truly love me. Sorry for the rant. It's nice to let out a little sometimes when I can. My father if you don't do this thing that I want, study this major, wear these clothes, WTV, I will disown you and make everyone hate you. After my grandmother passed, I didn't care if he made anyone else hate me, so I said okay didn't see my family for 7 years. That is so messed up. I hope you have a support system of friends who are really family. Nobody can make another person choose to hate you. If your dad has that much control over other family members, something is really toxic and you don't need that. My sister, who I do not speak to anymore, was complaining that her boyfriend was having a hard time finding a career. I tried to empathetically tell her that it's a difficult choice that it often takes time, and that my husband was not sure he had found his yet. Her response was well at least my boyfriend finished college. Your husband flunked, so he has an excuse for being a loser. Um, excuse me, did I mention that my husband was within earshot, along with my parents and all of my kid siblings? The fact that he failed his senior thesis was a pretty big setback in his life years before, but my sister had no right to just go and say that. Not to mention I was trying to be helpful. It wasn't the only cruel or mean thing she ever said. She said things like this on a regular basis. But this time it wasn't just attacking me. It was attacking my husband on something very personal and difficult. I can't say I've really forgiven her for it. Your sister is a bitch. My sister was gone for a while in basic training. When she came back she was never home. Always out catching up with friends. Etc. I was always home because I didn't go anywhere that often. Well, one night she's home with some guys and some girls she knows, and I'm drawing in the room they're all in. Someone asks me why you draw, which led me to show them some of my sketches, only for my sister to say she's like a dog. She'll go away if you don't show her any attention. Now I have a hard time showing off anything, and I don't draw as much anymore. Edited a few hours later. Thanks guys. We are on better terms now. This was about 10 years ago, and I have forgiven her for this. I actually did start doodling again, when I'm not busy with work. It is a comment that still creeps in my mind every now and then. Unfortunately. Thanks for the nice comments. Sounds like she's jealous of you. I bet your drawing is good. Please don't stop and keep doing what you love. Thank you. Her and I are on better terms now, and I have started doodling slash drawing again. This was about 10 years ago, but it will always be one of those thoughts that find their way in. You're the reason your dad killed himself, my grandmother. My mother and grandmother told me not to get my hopes up when I got accepted into university. I told them I wanted to be successful in my field, and they told me that I won't be. It's okay when a stranger tells you your aspirations in life are bad, but from family it feels like pure hatred. For context. My brother has a degree that has not going to ever use, and they still treat him like the perfect child. I probably sound like an ass, but sometimes it truly feels like my family hates me for trying to enjoy life instead of settling for anything. Sorry, I just wanted to say my brother isn't an ass, and that I was just using him as an example for how I'm treated differently than my cousins and sibling. Same. 
I hear you over the golden child bit. My brother ate my sister. Had sex with a 13 year old girl. Beat my me and my mum. Ran over my brother in law. And broke both his legs. Has been in prison 3 times for ABH. Stolen from us. Beat me. In front of my friends. Kidnapped his child when deemed unfit to parent. And crashed the car with the baby child on his lap and honestly that's just scratching the surface. But who's the bad guy in the family? Me. Why? Because I've seen the damage he has done to the family and don't want to be like him, so I stay away from it all. My mum brought him an Audi A8, I think they're called that. I'm not a car man, it's basically a sports car. Because he wrote his off and lost his license when he tried to kill our bro-in-law. He gets his shopping paid for him. His rent paid. His car all paid for. I'm a single dad with three kids. My youngest son's day is in January, so I've got Christmas presents for three kids and a birthday for one all in one month paycheck. I live hand to mouth. I asked my mum if she could help me out with one of the presents just one. She said no, and that I should get a better way of life if I'm to provide for my kids. She also pays for my brother's kids for days out and gets presents for them from him for days. Christmas etc. It does my head in. But the hypocrisy of it all is entertaining to me now. Sorry, went on a bit of a rant there. Too much coffee maybe. Also, I'm not comparing your brother to mine. No way, just the golden child feeling. I think that rant has been waiting to come out. It seems as though your situation is pretty intense. When I, a married adult, told my father I was expecting a baby, he said get an abortion. A kid will ruin your life. Like you ruined mine. Broke my heart. Damn. You can have a looking baby if you want a looking baby. And you will love that baby. Fuck your father. He doesn't deserve you. That baby does. Your spouse does. My kids are the two best things that have ever happened to me and my husband. They are adults now. And I cannot for the life of me ever understand how a parent could feel the way my father feels much less understand why he would say such a vile thing. It says more about him than me. His loss. You're so skinny you look like an AIDS patient. My sister in 1993. I was in my early 20s and while I'm straight. My older sister constantly looked for ways to call that into question and put me down. And I was very skinny, not unhealthy, just really skinny and with a 20 year old's metabolism. That was the moment I realized that I didn't need to keep her in my life just because she's my sister. Cutting her and her negativity out of my life was one of the best mental health decisions I ever made. I'm stuck with my family right now, but excited to get out. Too toxic. Doesn't matter if they are your family, if they hurt you, they hurt you. Yeah. It was a tough lesson to learn as I got a lot of someday. You and your sister will only have each other crap from my folks. I mean. It would be fantastic to have a sibling who had my back, but no reason to pretend I owed something to someone who only ever hurt me or tried to control me. My South Asian fellows will understand. All my half siblings have a fairer complexion compared to mine so, when I was about 9 tenths, one of my mom's distant cousins gave me a fairness kit on my birthday so I would look like I was actually a part of my family. To this day I can't even fathom what her thought process was. I was a kid. Colonialism really fucked us up. When my son was 6, he is 28 now, he went to YMCA day camp in the summer. I drop him off at 7.30am and pick him up at 5pm after work. Out of the blue on the way to drop him off one morning he just casually said the only thing better than day camp would be night camp. So I would never have to see you. At 6 years old it could honestly just be a lack of verbalization skills. He could well have meant that he enjoyed camp so much that he would love to be able to stay all the time. Going home was just boring for him. When my mother told me at 15 she cold and wait until I grew up and got fat. I can relate sadly. My mom and her sisters would always tease me about being skinny. Saying just you wait. You'll be fat like us. Apostrophe. I'm sorry you had to hear that from your mom. You're beautiful no matter your size. Same thing here too sadly. So much jealousy placed in comments like these. My brother told my mom that he would set a date for my cousin rape me. It was a complicated situation and of all the things anyone said to me and even knowing my family hating me 
what he said was the worst. Damn. I hope you are okay. I hope it didn't happen. It never happened. I hate his guts. And my mom 4 or 5 years after this happened still has hopes of me and him talking like brother and sister, since we were never apart, until we were 14 or something. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more videos.